So if you can't decide on which web hosting to go with, today I'm covering the top web hosting options, giving you the pros and cons of each, and showing you the types of situations each of these would be best for, because each of them have their strengths. So my goal is to help you decide which one might be best for you, depending on your particular situation. Also, finding the best web hosting deals can be difficult as certain promotions or discounts can sometimes be hidden from the general public or only made available by using certain coupon codes and so on. So I've included links in the description to the current best deals or discounts for each of these web hosting options. So first up is Bluehost, which would be the best choice for most newbies, bloggers, business owners, and possibly site managers as well. Bluehost is often considered to be the default choice for web hosting. Uh, they've been around a long time, they offer great hosting at a great price, and they have an excellent reputation for supporting their customers through their 24-7 phone and chat support. In my own experience, I've found good support to be invaluable in a web hosting company because if you get stuck with an issue on your website, you can either spend hours trying to figure it out or end up paying someone to fix it. Uh, with Bluehost, I found that 99% of the time, they've been able to help me with whatever issues I've had. I've personally had such incredible customer support experiences with them that I've actually gone to the trouble of writing personal letters to upper management about a particular situation and how one of their customer reps helped me. Uh, now, it hasn't always been perfect, but I could share story after story how they've gone above and beyond to take care of me over the many years I've been using them. Now, they also have the best uptime of 99.99%, plus lightning fast loading times, an average of 461 milliseconds. Uh, they offer a variety of different hosting plans that cater to nearly every style of website, from WordPress to e-commerce to massive sites and brand new blogs. Ultimately, this is the hosting company I recommended uh, to my own mother when she was starting her WordPress sites because they have very affordable plans. They make it easy to install one or as many WordPress sites as you like, and they offer great performance for the price. Basically, they give you everything you need to get up and running quickly and easily with a brand new site. And for my mom, I was confident that any problem she ran into along the way, there would be someone 24-7 she could call or chat with that would be polite and patient while explaining step-by-step -step how to help solve, solve her problem. Uh, then, if your site does grow or if you want to upgrade to a higher performance plan to speed up your site or improve security, then that's certainly an option as well. The point is that Bluehost covers everything you could possibly need from a host. So if you start with them, you'll never need to switch to someone else. So overall, Bluehost has the best cost to value ratio. It's great for newbies to more advanced users, and it's the top choice, especially for anyone getting started with a new website. Next on the list is SiteGround. Now, SiteGround has many of the same features as Bluehost, but a couple of the key differences is that SiteGround will only allow you to have one website on their basic plan. Now, their basic plan does cost a little more compared to Bluehost, but you get a bit more performance, and overall, it's a higher quality plan. And SiteGround is also known for their support. In my experience, their support isn't quite as helpful for the newbie, though, but they tend to be more knowledgeable. So you're more likely to get excellent help if you know exactly what your issue is or if you prefer more straightforward answers. So while I found them to be more knowledgeable on average compared to Bluehost support, they weren't as likely on average to go above and beyond or to be as helpful when you don't know what you're doing compared to support from Bluehost. So ultimately, SiteGround is ideal for someone who wants a step up performance wise from what Bluehost offers while only having to spend a few dollars more to get that. Now, if working with a green company is important to you, then you'll want to go with Green Geeks. Uh, they're a solid and reputable hosting company that's been in business for 11 plus years, and they use renewable energy to power all their hosting services. But unless supporting a green company is a top priority, I would definitely choose Bluehost or SiteGround over them. Then, if you're on a tight budget and want to get started with uh, as low of a cost as possible, then you'll want to choose Hostinger. They offer month-to-month -month pricing, and currently, their lowest plan starts at less than a dollar per month. Now, the best part about Hostinger is that they don't feel like cheap hosting. They do feel like a more premium web hosting company, such as uh, having an uptime guarantee, 24-7 support, and good site speed. Uh, though they won't be as good as Bluehost or SiteGround, they're the best option when you want the most affordable hosting possible, yet still have a quality web hosting experience. 
Finally, when performance is your top priority, and if you're a more experienced user, then Cloudways could definitely be the choice for you. Uh, Cloudways offers fully managed WordPress hosting, which means you get a scalable cloud platform that's built for speed and simplicity. So unlike shared web hosting, cloud servers give you more dedicated resources, which causes very noticeable improvements to the speed and stability of your site. How it works is Cloudways basically connects you to the cloud provider of your choice, and then you get to use their platform and support to make it easier to manage your site. Now, the main difference between Cloudways and shared hosting like Bluehost or SiteGround is the control panel that you use to configure your hosting and having dedicated resources. Now, Bluehost, along with the other shared hosting providers, uses cPanel, whereas Cloudways has its own custom-built control panel. So the benefit of using cPanel is that you can have email accounts on the service, a file manager, DNS management, and much more. But the downside is that cPanel 100% slows your hosting down. It's just a fact. This is where Cloudways shines because you get dedicated resources with an easy-to-use control panel that is not cPanel. But in regards to support, both Bluehost and SiteGround win in that department, as they both have exceptional support. Cloudways support is good, but it's just not exceptional. And it certainly may not be enough for someone who's brand new or less experienced with web hosting websites and so on. But for insanely fast servers, Cloudways is the way to go. All of the shared hosting providers, such as Bluehost or SiteGround and so on, they will never be as fast as Cloudways. The one regret I hear from others about Cloudways, uh, and this includes myself, is not starting to use them sooner. The speed and performance improvements are so noticeable, it's something you just have to experience for yourself to appreciate how significant the uh, difference really is. Now, if you'd like to try Cloudways for free uh, without even needing a credit card, uh, check the description below for a link uh, to that offer, as well as an additional discount uh, should you choose to stick with them. So ultimately, it all really depends on your priorities, uh, how experienced you are and what matters most to you. Uh, and again, remember to check the description below for any discounts, special offers, or promotions currently available, uh, particularly for any coupon codes that you won't find on their website. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, if so, please leave a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. And remember to check in the description below and I'll include any relevant links to the best price, also any promotions or discounts, if there's any coupon codes, I'll make sure to find the best ones for you. And again, put those in the description as well. Also, if you have any comments or questions, uh, put those in the comment section. I love getting to answer as many of those as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate your time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.